Science by Inquiry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Teacher Pauline, and our lesson for today is all about teaching science by inquiry. If you already work with young children, you know that they have an insatiable sense of wonder and innate curiosity for the world around them. Scientists too are engaged in the world around them in the pursuit of knowledge. With inquiry learning, children can begin to think like scientists by being encouraged to ask questions, explore, and reflect upon what they discover in the world around them. By inquiry, we mean the process of gaining knowledge through questioning and exploring. Science in pre-kindergarten applies inquiry science as an age-appropriate approach to learning science that allows young children to make discoveries and ask questions with the guidance of a teacher. Children learn by doing, observing, and reflecting. Inquiry science learning happens throughout the school year, not in just one lesson plan. Science inquiry encourages young children to explore the world around them in their own way deeply over time. Elements of inquiry These elements of inquiry are broken down into five parts in the inquiry cycle chart. This chart is a visual to illustrate the way in which the inquiry approach is cyclical and iterative over time. For the start of a new inquiry topic, you as teachers will move through these phases at an appropriate pace for your students. First one, choose inquiry topic. Second one, getting ready by setting up your classroom environment, collecting and preparing materials, and plan for field trips, schedule, and family connections. Third one, open exploration by background building, observing and supporting investigations, extending children's learning through conversation, and collecting documentation. Fourth one, focused exploration by introducing a test or challenge, supporting children as they discover new concepts, and helping children share and record their ideas. And last one, reflect. By conducting science talks, formulating theories and ideas, and displaying children's representations. Once the students have an opportunity to reach the end of the cycle and reflect on their learning, this is the time to introduce new inquiry challenges in your inquiry topic. You can also introduce an entirely new topic at this time. As students explore new materials and observe scientific phenomena around them, they will ask more questions and thus deepen their inquiry. Remember, even when your class has moved on with a new topic, students may still be interested in exploring the previous topics at the same time. This is strongly encouraged in inquiry. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!